Good afternoon, everybody. Luis Morales here, health fitness specialist with Exos at Autodesk, and this is Boot Camp, aka Workout Wednesday. All right, you guys. So, like I said before, what we're going to be getting into today, we're going to be working on a lot of kind of upper body strength stuff, and then we're going to get into some lower body um, activation kind of coordination type stuff, similar movements that we were doing in this class from last week. So, what we're going to start with, we're going to start on the ground here with a combination of, of two things that I like to do. And the first thing is that primal press, also known as that kind of hands and knees plank here. So what we're gonna do, we wanna make sure that if we're on a mat, we're kind of a little bit more towards the bottom of the mat or towards the bottom of your space. The hands are gonna start planted under the shoulders. We're gonna push down through those toes. The knees are now elevated here. So my back is flat, core is nice and tight. And what we're gonna do is walk those hands out straighten out those legs. So now we're in our nice plank position, hands still under the shoulders. And then we'll do a nice push up, just one. And we'll walk those hands all the way back under the shoulders so our knees can be bent. Again, the knees are gonna stay above the ground here. So we're gonna try and link at least a few reps together here of walking all the way out and then coming all the way back in, really using that core, using these shoulders, just going back and forth, walking it all the way out and then walking it all the way back in with that push up. So that's gonna be our first movement here today, guys. Gonna be big on the shoulders and the chest. Now we're working strength here. So if you feel like you're only able to string, you know, two or three or four reps together, that's totally fine. Feel free to break these sets up um, take as much rest as you need. Again, we're, we're building strength here. All right, so next up in our succession of exercises, what we're gonna be doing here next, some unilateral work with the curtsy lunge and the knee drive. So <clears throat> when we do this, we wanna pretend that we got those headlights on the hips here pointed straight forward. I'm gonna just step back behind myself with my right leg. Hips are gonna still stay pointed forward here. We're gonna stretch out the glute. We're then gonna use that glute, that rear hip, drive ourselves up, end with that right knee up in front, pelvis nice and tall. Imagine you got a nice bowl of water, that's your pelvis. We don't wanna let any spill out when we're at the top here. Also good to have the hands on the hips. Make sure we're ending nice and tall there. We wanna feel that left glute or whatever glute of the plant leg really turned on there. All right, so we're gonna do one side at a time. We'll do the other side, it'll look like that pretty much. And then we'll start at the very top. So we're gonna be doing six rounds of that, you guys. And the one caveat to this workout is that we're gonna be doing it in descending volume intervals. So we're gonna start, the first two rounds are gonna be 50 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. The next two, 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest. And then the final two rounds are going to be 40 seconds of work in 20 seconds of rest. So small little caveat there. That's what we got going on today for the meat and potatoes of this workout. Now, with that being said, let's go ahead and get into the warm up. Make sure you guys got some adequate space around you. Make sure you got your water. All right, and let's get into that warm up. So we're gonna start actually at the top of our space here or with a little bit, a little bit of space behind us here, guys. And we're just gonna work a nice relaxing reverse lunge. We're gonna alternate here. We just wanna wake up the back of those hips. Still got the core tight here. Got our weight coming down over that front leg. Pushing away from the ground with the whole foot, heel, big toe, little toe arches up. Using the back of that hip, squeezing that glute. We're really gonna be using it with all those curtsy lunges today and ending kind of balancing on that one leg using our glute to stabilize the pelvis. All right, one more each side, wherever you're at, nicely done. Okay, let's make our way towards the bottom of our space now. We're gonna do nice quick dynamic runner stretch. Let's start by pushing our hips back behind our feet, reaching down for the ground, letting the head hang here for a sec. Take a big breath, bend those knees a little bit if you have to, to get those hands close to the ground. We're gonna walk those hands all the way out. 
All right, so hands are under the shoulders here. Let's do a big lunge with that left foot. Place that left foot outside of that left hand. We're now gonna elevate that left hand, turn, reach up towards the ceiling or sky, look past that left thumb. We're trying to keep that back leg straight. We're taking a breath here in this position. Let's return that left hand back to the ground. Draw a couple small circles in the ground with those hips in reverse direction. Good, we're breathing all the way here, guys. Let's return that left foot to meet the right. Same thing's gonna happen on the other side, right foot, big lunge outside of that right hand. We're gonna reach up towards the ceiling or sky, looking past that right thumb. Take a breath here, try and keep that back leg straight. All right, let's return that right hand back to the ground. We're gonna draw a couple circles in the ground with our hips here. And then reverse direction, a couple circles the other way. Let's bring that right foot back to meet the left, push ourselves up into a quick downward dog, and then we can start to walk those hands back in towards the feet. Feel free to bend those knees if you have to. And take a breath in this forward folded position here. And we can slowly start to roll ourselves all the way up. One vertebrae at a time, head, neck, and shoulders, last thing to come up. All right, you guys. So big shout out to Jazzy. Thank you, Jazzy, for putting the workout in the chat. If you guys are ever curious about what exactly we're doing or what's coming next, go and check, go ahead and check out the chat. All right, I'm gonna get the, the clock set up here to go, guys. And then we'll embark on this journey of fitness here in Workout Wednesday. All right, about the usual 18 minutes of work going down here, guys, starting with those long intervals. So starting out hot, pace yourself. Let's get going. Starting with that primal press with the walkout and the push up. Three, two, one. All right, guys, we're moving. So again, we're starting kind of at the bottom of our space, bringing those knees up, walking out, couple steps with those hands, push up, bring it back in. Now, if you're at a place where the kneeling push up is better for you, go ahead and do that. Do your best walking yourself out, and then you can rest those knees, handle your push up, and then try and walk yourself back in here. Good job, guys. We're not doing as many push-ups here today, but there definitely is an added element of shoulder strength that we're going to be building up. Good work, guys. We're almost done. Three, two, one. All right, let's quickly stand it on up. Curtsy lunge coming up first. Let's all keep it congruent. We're starting with the right leg in front here, guys. So we're going to be stepping back with that left. Three, two, one, here we go. Step behind with that left, keep those headlights pointed forward, and then we're ending with that left knee out in front. And end with the hand on our hips here. Make sure that pelvis, aka that bowl of water, is up nice and tall, nice and even. We're not letting any water out anywhere. And we're still breathing. That right glute getting a lot of work, start to finish here with this movement. Propelling ourselves up, locking in in that nice tall position. Good work, y'all. Breathe through it. Gonna be a lot of this here today. Feet are gonna be feeling it by the end. Three, two, one. All right, rest, shake that right leg out. Left leg coming up next here, guys. All right, three, two, one. One, we're stepping behind, oops, with that right. We're ending, driving that right knee forward. <sighs> should feel a lot of left glute here, guys, as we bring ourselves up. It should be a nice, solid squeeze as we hang out up top. Pelvis nice and secure, nice and even, no water spilling out any part of that bowl of yours. <sighs> Good work, everybody. It's okay to lose the balance a little bit. Happens to the best of us. Don't work too hard. If you lose your balance, reset, 
It's okay to put that opposite foot down. Next rep is gonna be better. Almost done here. Three, two, one, and let's rest. All right, guys, we are done with round one. We have one more round, higher volume. Then we're gonna start to descend. All right, three, two, one. We're down on our hands and knees, coming up, walking those hands out, couple steps, push up, walking it back in. What I want you guys to also focus on as we walk is pushing the ground away with each step with these hands. We don't wanna let our body sink down towards the ground and not use all of those muscles around the shoulder blade that we have available to us for support. We don't wanna increase our risk for injury to that joint itself. There's a pain in the butt to recover from a shoulder injury. We're almost done here. Good work, y'all. Three, two, one. All right, rest those knees. Let's stand it on up. Good work, you guys. Okay, right leg starting in front here again. We're going for 50 seconds. Three, two, one. Step behind with that left, and then we're driving that knee forward, ending nice and tall. Good job, y'all, good job. If being near a wall or a piece of furniture helps a little bit with that balance, just as a safety net, by all means, use it. Sometimes just being near something that can aid and assist you if you need it can really help us complete that movement, feel safer as we move, more confident as we move. Good work, everybody. Right glute should be feeling it by now. Big squeezes when we're up tall. We're almost done here. Three, two, one, and rest. Shake that right leg out. Calf foot probably burning. All right, guys, left foot coming up next. Three, two, one. Left is planted. We're stepping behind with that right. Good work, y'all. Take your time. Good work. Don't forget, we're trying to keep those headlights pointed forward. <sighs> Ending nice and tall with that glute squeeze. Don't get lazy on that glute squeeze. That's what's gonna keep our pelvis, whoop, AKA that bowl of water, <sighs> nice and stable, nice and calm there at the top. <sighs> Good. 10 seconds, you guys, let's work. It's only, or it's all downhill from here. Three, two, one, and let's rest. All right, you guys, last 10 second rest interval. We're coming back down to the ground, working for 45 seconds. Here we go, three, two, one. Take a moment, make sure those knees are under the hips, then we can walk it out, do our push up, whatever that may look like. Walk those hands back in. Knees are not touching the ground here, guys. <sighs> Trying to make the knees not touch the ground, at least when we're in our primal press, and at least when we're walking here. <sighs> Pushing away from that ground, using those shoulder muscles. We should be feeling it under the shoulder blade as well. <sighs> Good work, you guys, building up that strength. I know it's tough. <sighs> we are almost done. Three. Two, one, beautiful work, everybody. All right, let's stand it up. We got our curtsy lunges to do. Grab some water if you feel the need. All right, we're working in three, two, one. Right foot is planted. We're stepping behind. Hips are still nice and square to the camera or wherever you're facing. Really getting into those glutes here today. <sighs> Using the, those feet as much as possible here. <sighs> Nicely done, guys. Nicely done. <sighs> We're ending nice and tall. Right glute really squeeze. Squeeze really, really hard. <sighs> Our legs nice and straight. We're feeling it throughout. Good work, y'all. 
We're almost done. Work intervals getting a little shorter. Three, two, one. Good job, guys. Shake that right leg out. Whew, that right leg. It is feeling it today. All right. Left leg staying planted up next. Here we go. Three, two, one. Hips are square. We step behind. Use that left glute. Power us up into that tall marching position. Nice knee drive there, guys. Take your time with this one. It's okay if not every rep is perfect. Rarely do we find that every rep is perfect. We gotta do those imperfect reps in between in order to learn, in order to adapt. Good work, you guys. Good work. We're almost done here. Driving that right knee forward. Three, two, one. Good. Good job, guys. Rest, shake that leg out. All right. We are on to our second round here. 45 seconds of work. All right, guys, let's get it going. Three, two, one. We're back on the ground. Primal press, walk out here. As time goes on, guys, don't get lazy. Keep pushing away from the ground with those shoulders. Keep using that core. Stabilize the pelvis. It's okay if we're only stringing a couple reps together here. I want them to be quality. Don't want to open ourselves up to injury as we just get later in this workout. Just because we're tired. Good job, guys. Good job. Three, two, one. Let's rest. Beautiful work, everybody. All right, we got about 10 more seconds. Let's stand it up. Curtsy lunges coming up next. All right, three, two, one. Right foot staying planted. We're stepping behind with that left. Controlling that pelvis. Up nice and tall, we're ending. I know this is a difficult one, hard to get with the coordination. The more we practice, the better we will be next time or next round for that matter. Good work, everybody. Hands on hips, if you can, up in that tall position. We're gonna feel that pelvis nice and stable. We're gonna feel that glute back there, locking it in. And sometimes we lose our balance and that's okay. All right, guys, time. Barely noticed the clock there at the end. Time to rest. Got about five more seconds and we're going to the other side. Three, two, one. All right, we're stepping behind with that right. Ending nice and tall. Good job, guys, good job. Feel that left glute, lock it in up top. Good work, y'all, good work. It's okay if this is the non-dominant side, if it feels more wobbly. It feels harder to get, that's okay. We're still working on it one side at a time. Every rep, we got the opportunity to make it a little bit better. Good work, guys, good work. We're almost done, almost done with this round of 45. Three, two, one. And we're resting, guys. This is the last 15 second rest we're gonna get. Let's come back down to the ground. Second to last time, we gotta do the primal press and the push up. All right, three, two, one. We're back into it. Hands under the shoulders, walking them out, plank, push up, walk them back in using those shoulder muscles, pushing away from the ground the whole time as we walk. Don't let yourself sink towards the ground there. Got 20 seconds. Good work, y'all, good work. Good work, you guys. Lots of shoulders, I know. Jazzy's loving it, because Jazzy loves shoulders. 
and time. Let's rest those knees, guys. Take a moment, we got a lot of time to rest. Stand up when you're ready. We're gonna plant that right foot. <sighs> Move with those curtsy lunges here in a few seconds. All right, guys, three, two, one. We're stepping behind with that left, driving it, finishing nice and tall. <sighs> Think about loading that right glute up, finishing with a nice strong squeeze at the top there. <sighs> Exhale as we go. Don't get lazy, don't forget those midsection muscles. Good work, guys. Way to use those feet. Good job, everybody. Good job. We're almost done here. Three, two, one, and we're resting. Give that right leg a shake. Second to last time we're gonna have to do this here. Grab some water, you guys, and stay hydrated throughout. Left leg is coming up next. Here we go. Three, two, one. Left side staying planted. <sighs> Ending with that right knee. Big drive forward. Big squeeze in that left glute. <sighs> Almost want to explode up through that left hip. <sighs> Good job, y'all. Good job. <sighs> nice and controlled all the way through. Big squeeze on that left glute. Sometimes it helps to rest a hand on that outer hip. Make sure it's squeezing. We wanna feel a big indent as we squeeze. Three, two, one. All right, guys, we're resting. We're on to the final round, the final three minutes. Again, working for 40 seconds, resting for 20. Let's finish this strong here. All right, here we go. Let's hammer it out. Final three minutes, three, two, one. All right, we're up, we're moving. Even if you're moving a little bit slower, move with intent here, guys. We're pushing away from the ground the whole time, squeezing those chest muscles, squeezing through the armpits as we push up. Good work, guys. Pushing away from the ground as we walk. Wonderful work, you guys. Almost done. Five seconds. Got time for one more. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's rest those knees. Nicely done, everybody. Nicely done. All right, so we got 10 more seconds. Let's stand it on up. Finish strong with these curtsy lunges. Here we go. Happening in three, two, one. Right foot is planted. Stepping behind with that left. Ending nice and tall. Good work, y'all, good work. Control that pelvis. Control those glutes. Keep that tummy nice and tight here as we move. Big strong exhales usually help. Beautiful work, y'all, beautiful work. Good job, y'all, good job. We're almost done here, five seconds. Three, two, one. Good job, shake out that right leg. Right leg is done for the day. Left leg coming up next. Still got about 10 seconds of rest. This is our final interval. We'll cool down, get out of here, have some lunch. All right, three, two, one. Left foot is planted. We're stepping back, ending with that right knee in front. Good work, guys, good work. Maybe wobbly, that's okay. Use those glutes, lock in that position up top. Big exhales always help. Good work, y'all, good work. Good work, you guys. We're almost done. We got five seconds. Let's keep moving. Three, two, 
one and rest. Beautiful work there, you guys. Shake out that left leg. Left leg's done for the day. Timer is off. Take a moment, walk around for a sec. Grab some water if you need to. That was a solid one. My feet are on fire. All right, you guys. Great work, way to stay with me all the way through. Let's go ahead and get into our cool down. What we're gonna start with is come down into a kneeling position, both knees on the ground here. Grab a pillow if you need to. Make it nice and comfortable for those knees. What we're gonna do is try and slow our breathing rate down here. So let's take those hands, interlace those fingers behind our backs. We can pull those shoulder blades back. We'll pull those hands down like we're holding something heavy. Staying nice and tall here, not too arched through the back. We can start to bring our gaze up towards the ceiling a little bit, breathe into that chest. We'll start to take some slower breaths here, guys. Asking the body to just lengthen the breath a little bit between inhales and exhales. Good work, guys, good work. Let's do one more big breath here. Nicely done, everybody. We can slowly release those hands. <sighs> Let's go ahead and lie down on our backs here. We were using a lot of glutes today. Lots of curtsy lunges, lots of positions. We are ending in nice and tall there. So let's go ahead and show some love to those rear hip muscles. Lying on our back here, we're gonna go ahead and rest the right ankle up on top of the left knee. Now, pulling on the knee towards the midsection or towards the opposite shoulder might already give you a solid stretch. So feel free to try that out first. From here, if we're trying to exaggerate that stretch a lot, let's go ahead and elevate that left leg Gonna reach through the gap between the left and right and pull that left leg in a little bit closer to our upper body. And this should give us a nice right rear hip stretch. Once we find some medium tension, it's just focusing on the breathing. Good work, everybody. Calming that breathing down. Exhaling that tension. Nicely done. After that next exhale, wherever you're at, let's go ahead and release that left leg. We'll bring the right leg down to the ground. And from here, we can rest that left ankle on the right. We'll elevate that right leg if necessary, and we can pull it in closer to the upper body, exaggerating that stretch in the left rear hip. Find some medium tension, breathe into the belly. We're slowly beginning to calm down. No more curtsy lunges for the rest of the day. One more breath, wherever you guys are at. And on that exhale, we can release our right leg slowly, bring our left foot to meet the ground. You can stay in this position or you can bring yourself all the way up. I'd like to thank you guys for coming to this class today. I had a blast. Hope you guys did too. Don't forget, we do have a stretch break later on today. That is with Brittany at 3 p.m. She always kind of knows what to do. Um, after classes like these that, that I run, she wasn't here today, but I'll definitely let her know what we did so we can all have some appropriate regeneration 
later on. Don't forget guys, blood drive. It's a huge way or great way to, to transform lives just by giving a little blood and competing with other offices as you do it, which is totally awesome. Um, sign up now through our SharePoint site. It's happening all the month of June, so don't procrastinate. All right, guys, hope you guys have a great rest of your day. We'll see you guys next time in a different class. Thank you guys for coming. Thank you. Yeah.